Hey guys, most likely this is going to be a very quick video because I'm making a fast <laughs> character. I just wanted to experience a fast moving character. Like in general, just move fast, attack fast. And uh, this is kind of does not have anything special. So I kind of got bored of it very quickly as well. But I thought that it's still worth doing a video because it does have one interesting thing that I discovered and I'm go going to experiment with it. I'm gonna talk about that at the end because it's also gonna be mentioning my next build. But for now, this is just a Spectral Pro that I. I thought about going Raider, but that I just synergized better. I wanted extra projectiles, so I don't need to swap gems. I'm throwing five projectiles and I, I'm not using GMP. I have Queen of the Forest. I did try to get as much evasion as possible, but I am currently sitting at 35,000 evasion. And uh, in Hydra, I have only 81% uh, movement speed, but uh, this build actually becomes too fast. The data actually doesn't feel good to me because use a skill 10 times to get uh, 10 Gale Force, and uh, which increases the effect of Tailwind. So you essentially get more speed as you perform more skills. But uh, this build also gets maximum rage very, very quickly, and also using Berserk. So once I get all the speed, Berserk, and then if I pick up Speed Shrine, it just becomes pretty much impossible to see what's happening on the screen. So I have to slow myself down, even without the Speed Shrine, sometimes slow myself down and see what's actually happening on the screen and then figure out where to aim or who to attack with the spectral throw and think about the returning spectral throw projectiles what are we gonna hit so in general it feels like it's a lot of work just aiming at enemies and, and and trying to see the enemies because you're moving so fast sometimes now i am also using a rebuke of the val it's nothing really special it's like currently around 1.2 thousand dps one-handed weapon so i thought okay that's pretty good a high dps one-handed weapon i can use a shield get life evasion spell suppression i could not go critical because i could not get enough uh, passive points and the items would be much more harder to to get so i went with the precise technique stacking a bit more accuracy and because i'm stacking a bit more accuracy also using the storm rider boots which give flat uh, other lighting damage to attacks per uh, 200 uh, accuracy so it's a bit of accuracy stacking and in general just speed evasion stacking because of queen of the forest and uh, that's pretty much it now i am using trinity and converting some of the physical damage into cold and into lighting but since the weapon has mostly elemental and heals damage, I don't need to worry too much about converting all the physical damage into elemental. Now, if you look at the numbers, the build only has around 756,000 DPS per hit with Spectral Pro, and uh, Spectral Pro on, on the way forward and the way back can hit multiple times, so I would estimate this to be like over 2 million DPS. I think uh, the damage is okay. It, it was not meant to be bossing build, it was just supposed to be fast map lead speed build but in the end it wasn't very fast because i could not uh, kind of at aim at enemies and attack enemies fast enough you probably would find a better results with some kind of uh, buff skill but i did not want to go meta wanted to use something different so now actually while leveling i was very very surprised how much damage spectral pro was doing with my typical uh, leveling items like um, Rig World's Ring, uh, Prism Weave, Le Hupe of All Ring. I think I was using the Ignomon, Ignomon Amulet for a bit more damage. So I pretty much used the same items for leveling, but I was pretty much one-shotting even bosses sometimes, and it was kind of nuts how much damage I was doing. So while leveling the Spectral Pro, it felt great actually, really great. It just, the clear speed, it feels like it requires a lot of work to aim and then to kind of predict where the projectile is going to end up, how far we're going to reach, if we're going to kill enemies while returning. And I am not using any Crucible modifier. I did not try the Crucible modifier. I just figured out that the Crucible modifier would feel absolutely horrible because in order to do the most damage with the Spectral Pro, you have to position yourself properly for the enemy to be at the end of the spectral pro kind of uh, distance before it starts returning but i'm also using fire shot and i had to use point blank to offset the fire shots negative if i'm too close to the target then i lose the damage but if i use fire shot and point blank the sweet spot is between 25 units radius um, distance and 35 units distance it's kind of like imagine from my character to the map device Something like that would be around 30 units, 35 units radius, uh, distance. So at, at this point, you would do the most damage with Spectral Pro. Now, ideally, if you, could, if you could position yourself properly so that 
there is a wall right behind the target then you would do the most damage because if not then projectiles just travel behind the target and takes a while to return and it doesn't hit as many times so i'm going to include path for building import code in the description with this build i think i even had two dash skills for some reason so it may not be the most optimized and um, fine-tuned I, I haven't even reached level 90 by the way now the interesting part for me at least that i wanted to talk about is the dead eyes mark node and i just learned that it's not just the dead eye that has this mark proliferation effect your marks transfer to other enemies when a marked enemy dies so you can manually cast your marks on normal enemies if you use mark on a hit it will only mark um, rare enemies and by the time you kill a rare enemy all the normal enemies most likely gonna be dead so it's not really worth using the mark proliferation and the mark on hit you can get this effect on the mark mastery the mark mastery now also has that your marks transfer to another enemy when marked enemy dies there's also mercenary lot unique gloves which has the same effect which i'm gonna be using for the next build and it works so wonderfully great for the wallace mark now wallace mark says cursed enemies grant 20 rage regenerated over one second when stunned you don't need to hit very hard but you still need to hit enemies hard enough in order to stun so it's not gonna work against most rares because we, we're probably not gonna get stunned and i don't really have any stun threshold but i basically curse enemies with the wallows mark uh, throw spectral throw it, it hits it stuns that enemy before killing then it transfers the mark to the other enemy and i get rage and this way i can go from zero rage all the way to the maximum rage with just one spectral throw throw against one enemy back just a couple enemies actually is all i need now the cool part is that increased mark effect like the one that you see on the dead eye 75 percent increased effect of your marks does increase how much rage you're going to be getting when you trigger this stun instead of 20 rage you're going to be getting let's say 40 rage if you got over 100 percent increased effect of your marks and currently with this i have i believe 111 something like that and i'm getting 40 rage per single enemy stun and uh, when you throw that into an enemy pack two enemies and i'm maxed, maxed out on rage so it's very easy to also use berserk you just put it on left click put it on always attack without moving so it always gets used as soon as you have rage and i think i can sustain my berserk for like 10 12 seconds so i just get rage power up berserk start berserking maybe get a bit more rage back and then sometimes use sniper's mark which also works very well because sniper's mark splits the projectiles so it splits towards the other enemy so if you throw a spectral throw in a straight line let's say it hits the enemy and then it splits to the side so it helps clear speed so much with the sniper's mark sometimes it feels almost like some kind of ignite proliferation sort of so i'm gonna try to use this wallace mark and um, mark proliferation thing for the rage vortex berserker i already reached maps but i encountered a problem that i'm gonna talk in the next video so if you got maybe some other discoveries with the mark proliferation or what else you can use with the mark i'm very interested to hear if there are some other ideas that i haven't thought about yet maybe i'll use it for another build so let me know in the comments below and for now thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye bye